I'd like to introduce myself since nobody knows who I am. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Crusoe. It's my deep pleasure to be the CWL uh, project lead. Uh, I guess I graduated. I used to be the community engineer, uh, but we decided, uh, you know, our big news is that we're now a member project of the Software Freedom Conservancy. So we needed somebody to be called the project lead. So just in case you don't know, the common workflow language is a standard for describing workflows and the command line tools inside them. The common workflow language was born at BOSC. For, tomorrow will be our fourth birthday and at the, uh, what we now call the Collaboration Fest. Um, and so the, over the last year, uh, I just want to give a bit of an update and a future look in this brief talk. Our most important result is our ongoing survey about other workflow systems. I went back, we added 93 entries. And I will be disappointed if we don't get at least 10 more from the, the conference. So please go to this link, add those workflow systems. Um, it's actually quite interesting to see the patterns that people use um, to get their research done. As I mentioned, we joined the Software Freedom Conservancy. This means we have a legal home for the project. I no longer own the domain name. Um, right, so we're reducing our bus factor, we're maturing how we work, and we can accept donations now. Uh, GitHub now recognizes that CWL is its own language, and we'll do syntax highlighting, and you can search by file type for CWL uh, descriptions, and you can click that link and see that there's at least 5,000 of them. So I bet a lot of those are forks, so I'm not saying that they're all unique. Um, in the Common Workflow Language project, we really began by centering the researcher and the user as the most important thing in our world. Um, and to help that out, we vastly revamped our user guide following the best-in-class software data carpentry templates. Um, so I, that's one of the biggest things I'm proud about for the last year. So please check out our new user guide. If you're teaching yourself, this is the place to look. Don't read the specification. Go, come to this. And if you know a bit about CWL, the biggest feature here is there's a link that says improve this page. So please help us improve our docs. Um, there's more that can be done there. So big thanks to the data carpentries uh, for letting us steal all their hard work in making this beautiful template. You know, over the last year, it's, um, we haven't released a new version of the specification, just some minor clarifications. But what we have seen is the explosion in the ecosystem of tooling, editors, um, improvements to existing things like the Rabix GUI. Um, so the uh, text editor wars are over, right? You can use Emacs, Vim, Gedit, any of the Visual Studio IntelliJ's editors to edit your CWL. Um, and there's links to all of this. Oh, there's also converters are coming very popular. So if you know anything about CTD, there's a CTD to CWL converter. Um, but workflows and standards are useless if you can't run them anywhere. And this is uh, quite exciting to see so many new open source and non-open source places to run your CWL workflows. Cromwell has a whole poster with cute pictures. I really recommend checking it out. Um, people outside the bioinformatics world, like CERN, has a Kubernetes-based workflow system called Rihanna that runs the common workflow language. We heard about CWL Airflow this morning. And if you like big famous names, uh, it's quite interesting that IBM, in response to customer demand, has released uh, implementation on top of LSF. The implementation is open source, however, LSF is not. Uh, so I have to, I'm, I'm at boss, we have to say these things. Um, and then our you know, other workflow systems, you know, CW is actually two standards. There's what a command line tool is and then what workflows are. And Snakemake took the command line tool standard and so now you can put a CWL tool or tools in your Snakemake workflows. CWL as a good standard is here to be useful, whatever way that works. So in 2009 and uh, 19, my gosh, 2009, 2019 and beyond, we're take, going more international, looking how we can better collaborate around the world. And that means as a project, we have to say goodbye to Google because we want to be accessible and useful in China. So that's gonna take some work, but we're gonna move off of Google Groups. And now that we have a legal home, we'll uh, be pursuing more sponsorship. Um, so if you like to sponsor good work, we have that available. And then um, we're, we are working on new versions of the standard, but most importantly are the people in the community. And I want to thank all of them with this picture from our Birds of a Feather lunch. Thanks. <laughs>